Hello everyone! In today's video lesson, we will be learning the General Biology 1 Lesson 4 entitled Cell Types and Cell Modification. In Lesson 3, you have learned about the difference between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells according to their distinguishing features. In this topic, you will learn on the classification of different cell types and cell modifications that lead to adaptation to carry out specialized functions. There are certain characteristics that living things exhibit, which is the characteristics of life. Living things are made up of cells. They metabolize grow, develop, respond to stimulus, adopt to their environment, and reproduce. Life on Earth exhibits organization. The atom, which is the smallest unit of matter, followed by molecules, which are combinations of atoms. When these molecules are grouped together, they ultimately form a cell. The cell is the basic unit of life. In multicellular organisms like plants and animals, cells are grouped as tissue to perform a specific function. Different tissue can group further and form organs. The organs form organ system that makes the function of the body more complex and efficient. Organ systems will then form the whole organisms. All living things exhibit organization whether they are unicellular or multicellular organisms. There are hundreds of types of cells, but four main types of cells are the following. Epithelial cells, connective tissue cells, muscle cells, and lastly, the nerve cells. So let's start to learn it one by one. Epithelial tissue. This type of tissue is commonly seen outside the body as coverings or as linings of organs and cavities. Epithelial tissues are characterized by closely joined cells with tight junctions. Being tightly packed, tight junctions serve as a barriers for pathogens, mechanical injuries, and fluid loss. Cells that make up epithelial tissues can have distinct arrangement. First is the cuboidal, which is for secretion. Next is the simple columnar, which is a brick-shaped cells for secretion and active absorption. Next is the simple squamous, which is looks like a plate-like cells for exchange of materials through diffusion. Stratified squamous, multi-layered, regenerates quickly and for protection. And lastly, the pseudo-stratified columnar, which is a single layer of cells, which is, may just look for stock because of varying height, for also lining of respiratory tract, and usually lined with cilia. One of the basic example is the type of cell modification that sweeps the mucus. Connective tissue are made up 
of a matrix consisting of living cells and a non-living substance called the ground substance. These tissues are composed of the following. First is the blood, which is made up of plasma, contains water, salts, and dissolves proteins. So what are the types of blood? First is the erythrocytes, which carries oxygen, or also known as the red blood cells. Next is the leukocytes, which is for defense, which is also known as the white blood cells. Lastly, the platelets, which is for blood clotting. Connective tissue proper, or the CTP, which made up of loose connective tissue that made up collagen fibers found on ligaments and tendons. Example is the adipose tissue that store fats to insulate body and store energy. Cartilage. It is characterized by collagenous fibers embedded in chondritin sulfate which serve as cushion between bones. Chondrocytes are the cells that secrete collagen and chondritin sulfate. Chondritin sulfate is one of the building blocks of cartilage. Muscle cells, composed of long cells called muscle fibers that allows the body to move voluntary or involuntary. They were categorized into the following. First is the skeletal muscle. It is striated, tubular, and multinucleated, voluntary, and usually attached to skeleton. Smooth muscle, non striated, spindle shaped, and uninucleated, also involuntary usually covering wall of internal organs, and lastly, the cardiac muscle, which is striated, branch, and uninucleated, also involuntary, and only covering walls of the heart. And lastly, the nervous tissue composed of nerve cells called neurons and glial cells that function as support cells. Nerve cells, which is also known as the neurons, sense signal by connecting to other neurons and sense stimuli and transmit electrical signals through the animal body. Next, is the dendrites, part of neuron that receives impulses from other neurons. And lastly, which is the axon, which transmit impulses to the other neuron. That would be our lesson for today. Thank you for listening. See you in my next video lessons.